Hello everyone, this is H2J Halloween, and today I am back with probably the most highly requested unboxing and setup of the 2019 season, because today I am going to be opening up Jack Straw from Spirit Halloween. Alright guys, real quick before I jump into today's video, I do want to shout out the HGJ Halloween merch shop. I recently updated it with some new designs that I know you guys are going to love. You can get this hoodie with the jack-o'-lantern logo on it, as well as shirt like this, the Menacing Molly 25 million, all of that and more on the HGJ Halloween merch shop. I also have this in shirt form. You can see previews of the different designs right underneath of this video. There should be a link down in the description that I encourage you to go click on, as well as a pop-up that should have popped up somewhere so definitely go ahead and check that out all shirts are $14.99 and all hoodies are $24.99 so I hope you guys are having a great first couple of days of October. It is the depth of the spooky season. Halloween is approaching very quickly, so there is a lot to look forward to. Um, but today is a video that I know you guys have been looking forward to for a while. Jack Straw. Um, I did get him quite a while ago, and I have not peeked in this box whatsoever. So this is going to be a very authentic unboxing today. Last time I saw him, well, a couple of my local stores do have him, so I have seen him a few times since flagship but he is a really really cool one one of my top favorites for this year before I do jump into opening him up though I do first just want to shout out my Instagram at hgj underscore Halloween where you can find a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff you get a little bit more of an in on the upload schedule what props I have to come in the future and a lot of posts about the build as I go along the process and it takes a long time to make those build videos so if you follow me on Instagram you might be able to see stuff that you haven't yet been able to see on the channel so definitely stay tuned over there for updates link will be down in the description if you you want to follow me so let's go ahead and get into opening up jack straw i have a feeling he's going to have a cardboard insert that needs to be slid out so I'll probably have to lay him down right here and pull that out it is pretty much going to be a repeat of demonic dahlia's setup video which wasn't the easiest it was the first one of i did of the year it wasn't the easiest one to start off with um but still this guy is super duper cool so i guess he is worth the trouble but let's see it has cardboard top right here that seems like it's kind of connected all the way around. I guess I have to rip it open. I mean, it's like literally glued shut. There's like a separate box within this box. I guess, I mean, I guess you're supposed to just pull this out, but I do want to give you guys kind of like the overhead shot of the inside the box. Jack straw. I lowered the camera angle here to make sure you guys can see as I pull this out. Oh, look at that. Right off the bat, we see Jack Straw's face. And it is, just like the other ones this year, a hard plastic bolt underneath with a thin latex lining. Here are his arms. That's one difference from him than Demonic Dahlia is that these arms actually like move outward, which is definitely a really awesome addition to his animation. It really fits this scarecrow um, thing that he's got going for him because those arms pop out into the scarecrow position. A couple different pieces of, you know, foam with metal in them. So I'm not sure, those are actually labeled. So these are used for something. That looks complicated. Here's the um, bag for the weight, but I just used a dumbbell or something like that to hold them down. Um, okay, let's flip that off. Um, ooh, look at this, Jack Straw's face. Really, one of the selling points about him is this face. It is super cool. One of the coolest scarecrow faces we have ever seen. I love it. It's awesome. Um, I think those eyes light up yellow as well, which is cool because Demonic Dahlia's eyes don't light up. Um, I just like possessed props more, but I wish that Dahlia was giving as much as Jack Straw does. Because like I said, I like the possessed ones even better. So he actually has pants. So, you know, that's a difference because... Dahlia just has one big dress. He has pants and a shirt. So two separate pieces for um, the outfit. Now to this glued down right there is the separate animatronic 21 box or animated 21 box that has the control box and probably some springs and screws and zip ties and all of that good stuff in there. Uh, here is 
the adapter box. And then I need to go ahead and grab some scissors before I get all this stuff off. Okay, got my scissors. Here's just some zip ties we have to get off because they're holding in the base. Yeah, pretty much the exact same thing as Dahlia here. Their boxes are the same size. This is giving me a bit of trouble though. I have to cut it like underneath so I can pull it through. It's not allowing me. There we go. I can slide that out. Um, these ones should be a little easier. Oh, what the heck? The whole zip tie thing just like came undone. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the module, the mechanism, whatever you want to call it. Um, doesn't have the control box on it. We have to like hook that on, uh, like you guys will see. Um, but yeah, this is the center function here, and it is the exact same as Dahlia's. So I really couldn't put a finger on why Jack Straw seems to be having more troubles than Dahlia this year. Maybe we're just only seeing the broken Jack Straws. Here's the metal pole. Uh, I don't know if it has something to do with the way the arms work, but I have seen quite a few broken Jack Straws and no broken demonic Dahlia, so does get me a little bit worried. Let's see if I can go underneath this. There we go. Okay, I know Jack Straw is really a big favorite of this year. That's why I've been wanting to unbox him for a while now. Here is the wooden base. We'll have to put a weight on there because it's pretty violent motion. I love this new animation, by the way. And here are his instructions. Pretty sure he's made by Crazy Create. So they tend to have similar instructions. And now I will go ahead and jump into putting them together. So step one is to grab the base right there. And then it wants you to take the pants, and I don't like fully understand this step, and just like lay them over top. It says with the rope going around the front mount. Maybe it goes, I don't know. You just basically lay that there. Now this is a step we are all too familiar with. Um, this is the main mechanism piece. It has to be fully extended until it looks like that. And same exact situation here. We have to take each of these two metal springs they give us and attach them to these two notches. This time I won't be confused about the appearance of the notch because I already did Dahlia. So this goes over this first to make it easier like that. And then this one, I honestly could just insert footage from Dahlia's setup and it'd be the exact same thing, but uh, at least for the instructional setup. But I will redo this, this guy separate. So now we have to put the uh, pole and mechanism piece onto the base, matching A to A. It specifies that this is the left and this is the right, uh, but we have to put it through a hole in the back of the pants. So, I don't know. I guess, I guess we had the pants backwards because there's a hole right here on the back of his pants. So I guess that is what needs to go through. I guess that's what it meant that needs to go through. And then this goes in this way. Again, specifying this is the left and the right because it actually does have a hole on both sides, so you could get confused there. And okay, just like that. And then I hope these pants pull up right. So here it is. Looks like we have demonic Dahlia all over again. Okay, so here's where we run into some hiccups that I did not experience with Dahlia. This step is to, it's step number five, to attach these knee foams to the pole right here using those plastic notches. So that's the reason they even look like that because for Dahlia, you, you don't even need them. But the picture is absolutely nothing like the situation we have here. Um, not only is the knee a completely different piece, you know, you see that just like sticks out of it somewhere. It's white foam. It has like some zip tie on it. Well, this is what we're dealing with. So what in the world is, I mean, that's not even comparable to whatever that is. Um, and then also this notch right here is facing towards me, whereas ours are facing, uh, the ground. So 
this is a step that is completely messed up um, in the instructions and absolutely doesn't follow the real situation. So I will have to uh, figure it out. So this is gonna be my solution here. This wire was clearly not meant to be bent. You can see it's all kind of messed up and it was tough to bend, but I bent it so that it will hold it out. I mean, I think I have them in a position right now where they should work. I don't know if I need them. I shouldn't, I mean, I don't think I need them to have them like bend out like this because even though they're gonna be, I'm gonna tape them up too so they're not slanted like that. So you see, I really had to rig those up there like not at all the way they came. But uh, now on this notch right here, it has kind of a little divot where you have to take some zip ties and then wrap them around to make sure that the metal wire holding the knee thing stays on. There's the hook. And so this, pull the pants up down here. I hope those knees work right because I kind of did it on my own. Attach that loop there. There is another hook right here, but is this, that seems like a gear or something. I don't know. You know, there's another, there's another loop on the back that seems like it should be attached to something. We're making progress. Now we have to attach the plain metal support pole to this right here, matching B to B. It has a push pin or a snapping pin on it. It has to go pretty far down in there, all the way down there, and there we go. This guy's head has more stuff going on underneath than Dahlia's. But he has to go right here. I'm assuming the head's gonna fall forward because it needs the chain. Yeah. This notch is a little weird. All right, there we go. It's kind of up in the camera, but that is what it's looking like. All right, screw that in tight. There we go. Now he's screwed in. Now we have to do that same Dahlia step where the chain from the head, which is attached to some stuff on this guy, which I think, is, I guess it is supposed to be, needs to be attached right here. Look at this. I, don't, I have no clue what any of the, oh, these are for the arms. That's why he has these. It's because something, that's gonna do something for the arms. That makes you feel like you're gonna break it. There we go. So his clothing piece actually has a Velcro strip here that just undoes itself so that he can, you know, you don't have to put this over his head. That's why we put the head on already. And then I guess you want the checkered part to be in the front, but it's actually gonna close up like this. So he wants to put it over the shoulder form, what it says. Here's the strip. Okay. And this part folds over to here. These are the sleeves. You know, I did not have my lighting plugged in till now, so sorry if the lighting was bad before now, but now we have to get the two arms up the sleeves and attached into the plastic slots underneath of the Velcro, or of the uh, plastic mold, shoulder mold. So this arm is labeled as the right arm, so Oh, wow. See, they get you confused because all of these have different places they need to be put into. This actually attaches to a slot on the back here so it doesn't go into the normal one that all the other ones go to. So it actually goes into a hole on the back here. I'll do all this in my instructional, but there's a hole on the back. But now I have to secure it with a zip tie and I am just gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera because it's a pain and you're not really getting any interesting shots. Um, this has the same thing as like Demonic Dahlia and Lost Her Way. And then it has this added part that, you know, none of them have ever had before so it's gonna be confusing. But that's nice and secure on there. So I got both of the arms in. Um, I really do like that whole chain idea because it really just all, all of this motion happens with the head and the arms just because when it becomes extended, that chain pulls everything down. And so it's a really smart and creative way to have all this movement without actually having to have moving parts in there. Um, it's pretty cool. The control box needs to be hung from this little peg 
don't know if you guys can see that. This little peg right here on the mechanism, same thing as Dahlia. Um, okay, so that's good. And I know we're just gonna have to plug these wires in anyway, so I'm just gonna do it. Uh, this is one coming from the motor right there. So there's those, and there's this one, smaller one that needs to go together. And there is also the IR sensor, and the IR sensor goes directly into the control box. Okay, make sure she's, he's turned into the on position. All right, so we are done with him now. I just need to plug in the adapter right here. Don't wanna to forget to do that. All right. I don't see where it says it in the instructions, but I also wanna tie up this rope right here because it's supposed to look like he's actually a scarecrow, you know, uh, screwed to a post or hanging from some sort of post. So that's like why he has these legs like this. I don't want it to be like tight or anything, but I'll just give it a loose knot so it'll kind of hold him on to there and look like he is tied up to this pole. There we go. He's plugged in. Already sounds very loud. Uh, I don't recall Dahlia sounding that loud. Is this being hold it all. I think he's fine. It does sound like a struggle, doesn't it? It sounds like it's... Jeez, how low does he go? He really pulled his legs all the way up. Whoa. Okay, yeah, he goes kind of crazy. I mean, I have this not pretty loose, so it's not tugging on it. Okay. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing and setup of Jack Straw. It has been a highly requested one for the past couple months, so I finally got it out for the channel, and if you guys did enjoy, then definitely leave a like and let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there will be a link to my Instagram in the description, as well as a link to Spirit Halloween's website if you want to get Jack Straw, who I definitely highly recommend. He is one of the best of this year, so you can get him through that link or anything else you need for the Halloween season. And if you do buy something on that link, it will be helping out me and the channel at no extra cost to you. And in fact, there will be an exclusive HGJ Halloween 20% off discount code in the description to make these prices a little bit less scary. And lastly, there will be a link to the HGJ Halloween merch shop if you want to get any HGJ Halloween designs, apparel, hoodies, you name it, it's all on there. So check that out. Link will also be in the description. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.